I've already shuffled in. We'll be taking a look at the recent past. We'll go over the present time. We'll talk about the challenge and then we'll see what the outcome is going to be. So, Taurus, in the recent past, we've got the Page of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. Now, with the Page of Pentacles, it can be a card about boredom. So, you could have been tempted to say or do things to shake things up and people up for just a little bit of excitement. You might want to, you probably should have rethought that impulse and find a better use of your energy at that time. We all know excitement, it can be created. Now this page of Pentacles is an excellent energy to support you when you have somewhat tedious work to get accomplished. Also this page, it can bring you focus, it can bring backbone and the will to stick to a task that's not necessarily glamorous or fun. If you were in a relationship and you get the page of Pentacles, uh, the relationship may have lost some of its luster, but it doesn't mean that it was over. But what it, what it meant was that discussion was necessary and it was important to take action. So it's paired, the Page of Pentacles is paired with the Seven of Wands. Now the Seven of Wands, you could find that in any sort of competitive situation that you come out on top, things should be going really well, you should be feeling really good, your projects, they're moving right along. You may still have some regular moments of self-doubt though. But now is really the time that you should feel the fear and do it anyway. Also, don't hesitate to make clear where you stand to people because your thinking is clear and you're likely to help someone out by spelling things out for them. So in the recent past, no, recent past could have been a week ago, could have been a month ago or, or more. Maybe six months ago, maybe more. Uh, Page of Pentacles and Seven of Wands is basically saying that it looks like you would, you, you probably dealt with someone who was younger than you or they could have been immature. But this person, they wanted to come out on top. They wanted to be If you were dealing with other people, they wanted to be the last man standing. But you probably found this person to be um, maybe immature. Or you could have been bored with this person, but I'm picking up more so that they were either just younger than you or they were just, they did silly things that you didn't really appreciate. Because when you hear the word page in the tarot, that's a youth, that's youth, that's student, that's immaturity. But this person, they, uh, they, take a, they took a liking to you. They have great interest in you. And they want to they win. They want to win a connection with you. Yeah. But you found them to be probably annoying sometimes. Now, for the present time, that was the recent past, but let's take a look and see what's going on with the present time. Maybe we can get more clarity from this page of Pentacles by looking at the rest of the reading. So, for the present time, we got the Six of Swords, and it's with the Wheel of Fortune. So, the Six of Swords is showing it's a great time for travel, if you can manage to get away, but... I guess you got to be careful if you do travel um, because of the, the virus these days, but it's showing it's a great time for travel. It indicates metaphorical movement, a change in where you are inwardly. Now, usually this changes for the better, whether it's internal or external. It's about thinking where you want to be. It's about resolution. This Six of Swords, it shows a slight reduction in stress and strain. Things may not be perfect, but they're going to be better than they have been in the recent past. So it's about taking this time to get your head above the water and decide where you're going from here. Now, it's with the Wheel of Fortune, which is a card that reminds us that this too shall pass, whether it's good times, whether it's bad times, it passes. If suddenly you find yourself sitting on top of the world, keep your perspective, though. Because like everything else, it changes. So live in the now, count your blessings, and just realize. 
just realize that much of life is really outside of our control. But let that be okay. Roll with any changes and just think positive. So for the present time tours coming up in for the end of July, we've got uh, someone wanting to move into calmer waters with you. It looks like it looks like it's a good thing because the with the will of fortune here, fortune is in your favor. It could be this person from the recent past. I don't know who this is. Is it a family member or is it a love interest? Um, it could go either way. This is a love reading, so I'm going to say it's it's a love interest. They want to come out on top. They want to be the last man standing. It looks like they're still in the picture for the present time, and they want to move into calmer waters with you. They know that they've done things in the recent past that you didn't appreciate and fortune is in your favor so it could turn out to be a good thing now let's take a look at the challenge now we got this four of pentacles and it's with the knight of wands four of pentacles it's a card about holding on to things people money or situations longer than it's healthy or realistic so it's a sign that you need to look carefully at what you're clinging to whether others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way. It points to anxiety and fear. It could be about money and or clinging to whatever makes you feel secure. So the key is to try to realize that being anxious and grasping, it does not bring security. Now the Four of Pentacles is with the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands, once again, is showing a great time for travel. If you can manage to get away, um, you should be feeling really charged up. This person, they're full of energy and they're ready to get things done. The self-confidence is up. It's at a peak. It's increasing. It should help you reach towards any goals. This night, it often, it often comes with some type of message. So someone could be wanting to talk to you. The message are positive. They're usually positive. Could be related to work or career, but it could be romance. This is a love reading. Um, so you'll have a lot of reasons to feel pride. So the challenge, we got this Four of Pentacles, the unhealthy clinging, and it's with the Knight of Wands. It's an in and out type of energy, this Knight of Wands. Very fearless, brave, could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I'm picking up that this Knight of Wands is you, Taurus. So the challenge is that this person, you've got, I think you got it someone who really adores you or someone who really admires you and I'm still picking up that it's this page of Pentacles from the recent past but it could be someone new it could be or it could be someone else um, the challenge is is that this whoever this is that's doing this clinging on to you really tight they're free they're afraid of losing you so they cling on really tight someone is doing this to you or will be doing this to you in the coming weeks and it looks like you got one foot in and one foot out with this knight of wands you're not too certain about this person like I said, it could still be this person from the recent past that's kind of immature. Or it could be someone else. could be a new love interest. Um, they're clinging onto you really tight. And maybe, may, maybe it's making you uncomfortable, but you've got one foot in. <laughs> and you've got, you got one foot out. One foot in, one foot out. This Knight of Wands is an in and out type of energy. So let's see what the outcome is going to be. We've got this Four of Swords and the Nine of Cups. Now the Four of Swords is showing a need for a break. Could be from normal life. This could mean that you or someone in your life that could withdraw for a time. The withdrawal is not permanent. It is not permanent. It's a temporary go away. 
temporary walk away. But it's a sign that you should give people their space. If someone is need is needing for some time and space, let them have it. You could be feeling that way also. Others could be pushing too hard for bits and time of your attention, so don't hesitate to draw boundaries or to just say no. So it's showing that there's a need for some rest after some struggles or a struggle. Rest after a struggle, some recovery is needed. Now it's with the Nine of Cups, which is one of the most uplifting, pleasant, car pleasant cards to get in a reading. It's known as the Wish card. It can mean that what you're hoping for or dreaming about is most likely to be yours in a brief period of time. This card is about happiness, good things to come. It also means that what you want is likely to come into being in your life. If you're asking a yes or no type of question, it's the most powerful indicator of yes. It's about feeling blessed and satisfied. So the outcome. Like I said, you've got one foot in and one foot out with with this person. So it looks like you might withdraw. You might take a break, withdraw, and try to figure out what to do. You could be dealing with two different people, so you maybe you're trying to figure out which one to choose. So they both look like a challenge. One is clinging on too tight to you, and the other one is kind of immature. So it looks like if those are your two options, yeah, I guess... You would need a break. You, yeah, you need a break dealing with these two types of people. Hopefully they're not love interests. Maybe they're just annoying family members or some friends. Maybe this is not a love reading. I'm kind of picking up if not really a love reading. It was intended to be a love reading. But what I'm seeing so far is that for a lot of you, Taurus, you're dealing with uh, two different people. Like I said, one is annoying and immature this, with this page of pentacles. Uh, they are determined about you and they want to, they know that they've caused problems in your life and they just want to move into calmer waters with you. And this other person is a challenge because they cling on to you really tight, really tight. And you kind of got one foot in and one foot out, and you just need a break. You need a break from, from these types of people. But these people, they see you as their wish come true. The Nine of Cups is a wish come true. So it's not, it's not, this is not really a love reading. It was supposed to be, but I don't see it. Maybe... Uh, some of you Taurus can uh, interpret this as a love reading. But, yeah, for the most of you, it's a friend or a family member. Yeah, two really um, demanding type people. Yeah, because this page is demanding because they're determined to be the last man standing with you. And then they do things the, that annoy you. And they're, they're just very determined. And then this person clinging is really unhealthy. And you're ready to move away from them. But you can't. For some reason, you got one foot in. And you've got one foot out. And then you withdraw for a while. But these people, they see you as a wish come true. You sound, For a lot of you tourists, you sound like a nurse. Or something working at a very challenging <laughs> uh, facility nursing facility or something this is not this is not a love reading but if it is for some of you Taurus let me know in the comments I'd be shocked to hear that this is a love reading but thanks for tuning in I know you guys were looking for a love reading but it didn't happen that way <laughs> so I hope this resonates with some of you as you know general readings 
they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself, best case scenario, what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. Taurus, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys are taking care of yourself. Stay strong. Stay strong and um, be well during these crazy times that we're having. So, if this didn't resonate, please come back and check out the next reading for Taurus, which will be in about another four or five days. Like I said, just in case this does not resonate, maybe the next reading will. I can never say it enough, Taurus. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope that Ju July is a beautiful month for you, and the upcoming August is also great for you, I hope. So, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you at the next reading. Take care.